To mothers, I would say that unless you make your children recognize, especially here in because we are Muslims and it's a Muslim country, that even the Quran says that we are spiritually equal. So whether you're a man or you're a woman, unless a woman, unless a little girl is brought up recognizing that she's equal to her brothers as a human being, she usually grows up with a genetic memory. In any case, she's born with a genetic memory of a woman being something that is substandard or lesser than the man. And I think that if you are able to begin to change that in your little child so that she can recognize that her she's different, she's equal, that will begin to empower her as she's growing up in understanding and make her a much stronger person. Of course, it's already changing. It's changing, but it's changing. The women are changing. Men don't want to change. A man is a man. A man has the privilege, privileged position of feeling he's entitled. Men have an attitude of entitlement. They're not going to give that up. They don't want to change. You will see so many men not talking of changes and transformation and evolution. These are subjects that women are talking about. So the woman is changing. She's recognizing herself. She's recognizing her capabilities, her abilities, her power. And that change that we are for talking about now, I foresee coming from women, from the force of women. There's a huge force there. There's a reservoir. Well, it is holding its, it back because it, it has to hold it back. You can feel it personally. You can feel the power of your religion if you understand it. But if you have no understanding of it, and it is told to you or taught to you or you are subjected to a religion that hasn't yet uh, evolved to become its true essence. We have not understood the essence of this religion, which Mr. Edi very rightly is an example of. Uh, look at his relationship with Bilkis. Look at Mr. Edi's um, acceptance of Bilkis's position in his life, where he categorically says that 90% of the success of Edi Foundation is due to Bilkis. Now that's the Muslim man. Bilkis is the Muslim woman. They are not modern, westernized people. But to evolve to that level and for our religion to be able to um, be understood like that, we will probably have to go through a period which will be, I would say, what we demand, what we, what we um, hope can happen soon is ijtihad. It should be compassionate because everybody has the same feelings. Everybody's heart hurts the same way. Everybody feels the same mental tortures and the same physical pains. So there's a unity of feeling in all human beings, emotions in all human beings. It should be compassionate. However, I will say it is indifferent because everybody is caught up with their own survival and their own circumstances and their own 
pains so for them to be extend themselves walk the extra mile give give to other people is difficult so there is definitely apathy indifference which has born from which indifference is born from it.